Aaron, bit of a tough road trip. What does this team have to do to get back on track in the Tampa series? Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think through the games. You know, just look, it's the little things. You know, I look back to either base running mistakes, uh, mistakes in the outfield, um, not coming up, you know, with just a clutch hit, you know, taking our singles when we can, you know. So there's a bunch of things, you know, even me personally, you know, a couple of things I need to work on to, you know, kind of help put this team in a better position to uh, come out with a better outcome, especially with a, you know, a tough team like Tampa who's going to give us their best. This team was really expected to be an offensive juggernaut. You had a good day at the plate, but the team as a whole has been inconsistent offensively. Are you a little surprised by the fact that you guys have gotten off to a little bit of a slow start offensively? Yeah, it's tough to say. You know, we, uh, yeah, kind of just inconsistent. You know, that's the word I keep coming back to. It's just not consistently, you know, having quality at bats, you know, putting the ball in play when we need to, um, situational hitting. Um, it's just uh, kind of all that together, you know, isn't a good recipe. So, um, yeah, we just got to kind of, gr you know, grind it out. And that's what I kind of think is, you know, guys, when they come up in a situation where we need to either get a guy over, score a guy, we just got to, you know, hunker down and get the job done. We can go next to Brendan Cuddy, please unmute. Aaron, understanding you're just 12 games in, what's the mood or level of frustration among you guys right now? You know, I think after any loss, it's, it's frustrating. Um, you know, I don't think any, anybody in here is happy, you know, especially even after the fifth, it's, you know, game 12 or game, you know, 150. You know, if we, if we take a loss, it's... Uh, that's personal and that, um, you know, something that we, you know, we take a lot of pride in, you know, our craft and what we do and, you know, showing up ready to play and, you know, showing up ready to win. And, um, you know, just haven't been able to get it done lately. And, you know, it's just you know, time to regroup and, you know, figure out what we need to work on, figure out what guys need to improve on and, you know, get back to it. Thank you. Go next to Marley Rivera. Um, hi, Aaron. Uh, Fred Martin asked uh, your manager whether, because the, the Tampa Bay Rays continue to talk about, you know, the, the throwing at their head and so on. How do you focus on the field uh, without uh, shutting out the outside noise? It just goes back to, you know, we got a job to do. You know, I got a job to do on the field. You know, it's a show up every day. And, you know, if I got to drive a guy in, throw a guy out, um, you know, post four or five, you know, at bats a game, you know, that's, that's my job. You know, I got to, I got to do that. You know, the outside noise, uh, it's, it's really just noise. You know, I got to focus on what I got to do on the field. And, you know, if a guy gets hit, um, you know, there's, there's ways to take care of that, ways to clean that up. And um, it's, I just got to play the game. That's really all. But is it tough, you know, the fact that it seems like your games are just getting just, there's this heightened every time the game starts, even when nothing has happened yet, uh, the tensions are already high. Yeah, tensions are high. You know, we've, you know, we've kind of gone back and forth with the race. Um, you know, they, we get hit, we get brushed back, they get hit, they get brushed back, and it's kind of back and forth. Um, you know, but I think the most important thing is just focusing on the game. You know, we go out there and play and um, let our play do the talking. And I think that's, you know, the best way, best outcome for, for both sides. 